Hey, what the hell are you doing? I was going to go out and spray some stuff on the street. That's called graffiti. It's vandalism. No, 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 no. It's, it's called uh, street art. It's a thing. Hey there, fellow creators, Ben here from Cinderblock Studios, and this week I wanted to talk about graffiti versus street art. How the ancient concept of just scribbling something on a wall for a political motivation has really kind of blossomed into something uh, more spectacular than I think the original person to just scribble on a wall could ever really imagine. So nearly all cultures and societies across the world and throughout history have had at least some kind of a relationship with graffiti, just scribbling something on the wall. What's actually interesting is that almost throughout the entire course of history, graffiti has pretty much always been about uh, some level of vandalism. But for some reason in ancient Rome it was more widely accepted, but that's kind of the exception to the rule. Now graffiti as we know it today kind of got its start in sort of 1920s-ish, early turn of the century America, at least in terms of the things we expect to see on a wall, the d interesting lettering and things like that. And while people did find ways to paint or draw or write on these things, it wasn't until the mid-1960s when the world was introduced to the aerosol spray can. And around this time, we're also looking at post and mid-Vietnam War. So at this point now, people have a quick, easy way to get their message out there, whether or not that message was legal. And while there was certainly a boom in political motivated graffiti, a lot of that still came from gang activity. It was not necessarily something that was specifically art related at that point in time. There were some exceptions to that, of course, but as a, we progress from the 60s to 70s to the 80s, you're looking at gang culture, uh, eventually hip hop culture, that really adopted graffiti into their own. The 80s were also sort of a uh, cultural revolution for graffiti as an art medium because you started getting uh, stencils and people, especially in New York City, started doing entire subway cars. And at this point in time, it's getting to be more now really design heavy. The artists are really starting to think about that uh, in their work and it's starting to blossom into something that is more of an artistry versus strictly vandalism. I mean, it's still vandalism, but the, the artistry is starting to come in there a little bit more. Now slowly out of the 80s you started to see some of these artists push their work from streets and into galleries. Now this didn't happen majorly until the early 2000s but the ideas and the inklings behind that were starting to get pushing in there. You think of an artist like uh, Banksy, uh, say what you want about him, but uh, he started as doing more graffiti stuff and his work eventually as it kind of got more popular started taking off he started pushing that to a sort of higher class and higher caliber, sorta. Of. Now the term street art was sort of born out of the graffiti idea, but just saying something is graffiti usually means it's something illegal. Street art tends to imply that you're not necessarily just going out and tagging a mailbox, but it actually is something a little bit, has something with a little bit more intention. Uh, and so out of the graffiti movement from the specifically 80s and 90s, we started to see the early 2000s and the term street art start to pop up in the artistic lexicon. So that's a little bit on the history of graffiti, but let's take a look at some more modern definitions. Graffiti, by its very definition, is a sort of writing or drawing on a wall, street, sign, building, whatever it happens to be, and is put there specifically without permission. Graffiti can refer to a whole genre of art or a specific style of art as well. But it's important to note that if you're calling something graffiti, it is, but by, again, by its very def definition, it is a act of vandalism. Street art, on the other hand, while isn't strictly paint, is a broad range of specific disciplines. Uh, it's kind of more of a general term that just means art in a public space. Now, graffiti is certainly a type of street art, but, it is, but street art itself doesn't necessarily mean vandalism, it just means it's on the street. Some examples that you might find other than graffiti to be street art would be things like murals, large-scale sculptures, even small-scale sculptures that are just out there, uh, chalk art, as well as installation and light displays. A lot of times, street art is not even called street art, it's just called public art. This shift away from the term graffiti is more of a general PR move, to kind of bring a little bit more respect back to artists who do work in the public space, while not necessarily 
adhering to the vandalism side of things, but instead just allowing artists to work in a space. So how exactly does this affect us as artists? Well, I think it's really important to think about how we talk about work and how we understand work through art history to really kind of build a better understanding of art and culture in our society. Political and moral messages in art have been a staple for years, and they're not going anywhere. Artists will always search for a specific canvas to show their work, but I think it's important as artists that we understand that these should be done through legitimate means, not just going out and ruining people's property. In doing so, not only are you respecting the art community as a whole, but your own sort of moral integrity. And you don't want to sacrifice that just to paint. The classic graffiti styles are actually really great for bringing up and uplifting more depressed areas of major cities. Uh, you think about uh, just abandoned buildings collecting uh, mold and growing things, but if you can get permission to work there, it can help uh, beautify that area and sort of bring a cultural revitalization to your community. Remember that in finding permission to paint places, you're exercising creativity as an artist, not just in the what you create, in how you create, and what you're doing for your community. These are important factors. Uh, you don't just have to be creative on the canvas, you have to be creative off of it too. I think the term graffiti could be used in a positive way if we sort of go out of our way to change that definition. Using the old graffiti styles as inspiration, I think it's totally possible to bring a more positive message into the world that is actually more legitimate street art. So as members of the art community, whether you just picked up your first pencil today or you've been painting and drawing and doing everything for years, we not only have the uh, obligation and moral responsibility to make the work that we want to do, but also to make work that doesn't harm other people. So the next time you're outside, maybe with a spray can, I want you guys to think. Uh, and if you're someone who's out there tagging mailboxes, I want you to think about what you're doing more specifically. Are you bringing a positive message to your community? Or are you just doing it to shove your work in someone's face? Uh, now there's definitely sort of a level of art marketing of getting your work out there, but I think there's a better way to do it than go out and vandalize things. But what about you guys? What are your thoughts on this? The term graffiti and the style of it, not necessarily something I really love, but I appreciate what it can do. I'll be driving down the road, I'll see something, I'll be like, I probably don't have permission to do that, but it does look really cool. And I think if artists kind of take the time to begin, be creative, not just on their canvas, but off of it, I think we can totally revolutionize this and go from graffiti to street art and even beyond street art into something that is going to be a positive impact no, no matter where you live. So if you learned something or just enjoyed me talking about this, go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Uh, check me out on social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, my own website, and also check out the community Discord link in the description box below as well for that. Thanks guys for watching, keep on creating, and I'll see you guys next time. You're looking at, it's a lot more, uh,